So something really interesting that we've been talking about is about the BIRD method. And I think a lot of people don't know about it. What can you tell us about it? And exactly what it stands for? The BIRD method stands to buy, renovate, rent, refinance, and repeat. The reason that investors hiring us for that purpose is very simple. In order to add more value to your property, for you to be able to get a cash out, there is no need for TLC. A kitchen remodeling, a bathroom remodeling, paint job, not really bringing that much value to your property. It doesn't bring the value up enough for you to do a refi to get enough cash out to buy another property. In order for you to get enough cash out to buy another property, you need to add size. You need to add square footage. So let's say the value of a property average in LA is $700 per square. It's enough that you added 1,000 square foot of an ADU attached or detached. It's already additional 700,000 in value, in equity to your property. You do a refi cash out, you take that 700,000, you put it as a down payment on another property. On that property, you're adding another 1,000 square feet, you take that 700,000, you're buying another property and you repeat the process. But the beauty of it, you don't purchase a property, add 700,000 to it, sell it and buying another one. You keep it, you refinance it, and you're buying another one. You build, you refinance, and you're buying another one. You keep each property you're building on. And that's how you build a real estate portfolio. That's how you're getting to a point that you don't need to work no more when you have a passive income. So people contacting us, not as contractors, they're contacting us as real estate partners. We go to the property and we see what is the highest and best use for that property. If we can add 1,000 square feet or 5,000 square feet. If 1,000 square feet add 700,000 to the property, multiplied by two, three, four, five, sometimes we can get them two, three, four million of a cash out. It all depends on the property. Now I know what I'm saying might be big numbers, but it's really not. Because ADUs, it's not only for single homes. It's also for multi-units. At least 40% of our clients are real estate investors that own a lot of multi-units. And in multi-units, you can build ADUs exactly as you build on a single dwelling, on a residential zone. So if you have a building of eight units and now you added another two or four units, do the math. And that's the beauty of real estate. That's why we call it the gold rush of real estate. The ADUs are the perfect formula to add more value, more equity, and you building a real estate portfolio. Back in the day, you couldn't do it. You just couldn't because- Yeah, the, 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 actually the law for the ADUs, is, it hasn't been long, right? It's haven't, they approve it. it haven't been long and in the multi-units it was only a few years ago and uh, in single homes in residential it's like a five years old rule and back in the day you couldn't add so much square footage or add more units because of the parking ratio. Uh, before you build they need to look at the par parking ratio that there's enough parking and now they just don't care. If you have a bus station within a mile, you can build an ADU. That's, that's the beauty of it. And if not, just need to provide with a car code. So now we're really in, in great times. And I think that the, that's the gold rush of real estate. I saw they're trying to approve this law where the ADUs can be a separate property now. I mean, they haven't passed it, but I don't know if you know anything about that. 
the ADU, it's already a separate property. You can sell it as a separate property. Yes. So now we have, a, at the beginning, you could just build an ADU. Then they came up with ADUs and garage conversions. Now you can have a detached ADU up to 1,200 squares, squares that can contain three bedrooms, two baths, large living room, dining room, kitchen. It can be one story or two stories. And on top of it, you can have also a junior ADU. You're basically splitting your home and you're creating another unit. So each single home residential zoning R1 can be transformed into a triplex. Each property that transformed to a triplex can have a separate meter with a separate address. You can do split lot and then you can sell each unit separately. Now they become more and more lenient about it. I believe that in a matter of a year or two, we're gonna see laws that change dramatically. And I think that we are really in an era that we need to take full advantage of because I don't think that it's gonna last for a long time. Pretty soon they're gonna understand that uh, there's a lot of problems with parking because of the density. They're gonna understand that it's affecting urban areas and people buying less in areas like Victorville, uh, Apple Valley, and they're gonna stop with it. But I think that it's gonna take a few years and I highly recommend to anyone that want to build a real estate portfolio and really take advantage of the market today to contact us ASAP. We don't know how long it's gonna last, but as long as it's lasting, we need to take a full advantage. Right.